Change is fascinating because you can integrate all the traditional functions on management. Politics, strategic planning, organization, leadership and also controlling. And uh, when I was a student, uh, I studied management, psychology and marketing. And since this time, I'm very fascinating bringing people together and making change happen. As a consultant, as a trainer and coach, I'm working on this subject for about 20 years, more than 20 years. And I think it's a very rewarding experience. The world's first expo has been held in the year 1851. The purpose of such world exhibitions has been the same since then. To show how technologies are changing the world. Germany's first and only world expo was held in the year 2000 here in the city of Hanover. Several of its iconic buildings are still standing today. The Expo 2000 achieved many novelties. It changed the city of Hanover. It established Germany as a grand-scale festival location. And it changed the very concept of an Expo towards showcasing technologies integrated with society, arts and culture. Also in Hanover lives and works Professor Dr. Bernd Eggers. He is Germany's primary expert on change management. He will introduce us to this subject. If we want to focus change management, let's talk about, first of all, about change. Change is as old as the world is. Uh, already Heraklit uh, described with Pantarei, everything flows. And that's uh, something you find everywhere in the world. Uh, and of course, especially in our economy. So change management is overall, how do we get from one status to the next status in terms of new objectives, structures, and also atti attitudes of people. So what are the key drivers of change? On one hand, we have to focus the external environment of a company. Let me give you a couple of examples. For example, the technology, internet technology, new software and so on is, is one home of change. A second one is the competition. Globalization and an increased competition overall makes change very often necessary. A third one could be the change of needs of the customers. Furthermore, the internal environment very often is also crucial for a change management. Values of the employees, for example, is important, as well as different structures which has to be changed in a company, like logistics, production, and so on. And overall, the external and internal environment uh, makes it necessary to change objectives, procedures, and also attitudes. Change management is a relatively new discipline. Kurt Levine is a person who worked all his life on organization development, which is a very early concept of change management. You might be familiar with the three phases of organization development, which are unfreeze, change and refreeze. Kurt Levine said if you want to change a system or behavior of people, you have first of all to unfreeze the current system. What does it mean to unfreeze a current status or attitude? You have to bring information to the table that there is an urgency to change something. This is the first phase to unfreeze. Change means you have to work on a concept on, of a picture to show people how the future should look like. And beside the concept, of course, you need processes and steps to reach the future. And to refreeze mean that you have to make sure that behavior which is developed by, by training people, by changing attitudes, has to be stable in the future because people or systems have the tendency to fall back 
to behavior they showed before. A modern understanding of change management can differentiate phases of change. A first phase is to create a sense of urgency. You have to make sure that people understand why change should happen. Why is it necessary to get from one status to a, a new desired status? Therefore, you can use a lot of techniques of change management and, and strategic planning. For example, portfolio analysis, SWOT analysis, analysis, as well as scenario techniques. The second phase is to generate a roadmap towards the change. In this roadmap, there are projects included. Projects because at the end of the day, you want to segment the change. And pro uh, project management, for example, project definition sheets and milestones help people to digest the big picture of the, of the change management. And the third phase is how to sustain the change. Because people and systems, teams have the tendency to fall back after a while into the old status if there is no understanding why the future should happen. Overall, change management sounds pretty simple, but it isn't. Why? Because you have to deal with a lack of motivation and with resistance of people, systems, teams and so on. Already in the first phase, when you want to create a sense of urgency, people will criticize the necessity of change very often. Already Machiavelli uh, said this in his book The Prince, that people always have the tendency to say no to a new solution because there might be a disadvantage for them uh, towards their acquired rights. In the second phase, when you create a concept, people will think about what's in for me. Is the budget for me? Do I get more people in my department? Or am I the loser of the whole concept? And in the third phase, when you sustain change, people will have the tendency to think about uh, is it good for me or do I have disadvantages in my daily work? Not all of the people, but some people and they will also be uh, opponents of the change. So overall, change management is dealing with people, motivate people, find the change champions and involve the stakeholders who are against the change. So what are the reasons of resistance in a micro perspective? First of all, some people have a lack of motivation or are resistant because they are not motivated to go the extra mile because change always means to learn new things and to get rid of old behavior. The second one, sometimes people are scared because they, they do not have the right qualification for the desired status. They have to learn and some people are not sure if they can make it. The third one is the already mentioned acquired rights. Am I the loser or the winner of change? A fourth one is that sometimes the party or the people who create the change are, are not my, my party. So people are sometimes against the change because the wrong department, the wrong member of the board initiated the change. So if it is not the right person, I say no, the not invented here syndrome, for example. These are the main reasons why people do not want the change and therefore you have to involve them. If you want to get buy-in, facilitate workshops, do a lot of sessions together and try to, to ask them what are their uh, pros and cons for the desired state. The advice to deal with resistance and a lack of motivation is to involve people because all the people are motivated as long as you show the advantage a human being has at his work workplace. So ask people for their opinion, show them the benefit change will have and uh, bring them to the table to create the change by themselves. And as I said, you can do this in a lot of workshops and, and projects. 
uh, and the, the so-called top-down strategy does not work effectively. It's much better if you combine a top-down approach with a bottom-up approach. So bring ideas and people at the frontline uh, execution together and then you can create a new uh, desired a status which uh, makes it possible to get the objectives of the company as well as to think about the needs of the employees. So due to the fact that our world is changing faster and faster, it is necessary on one hand and it's a pleasure on the other hand to change organizations, teams and also individual behavior. If we can inspire people to be part of change and to create change, that it is fun working in teams, creating new organizations and processes, change management overall will be also a key qualification to generate a new uh, process and uh, innovation and getting new experiences. It was a pleasure uh, talking to you about change management and hopefully I inspired you to be part of change and to get even more uh, qualification on change management. Thank you very much and seeing you soon.